so um, hi Joseph uh, Victor hi. Muller. Uh, welcome in the Netherlands. This is our first uh, Dutch TCM Congress organized by the uh, Dutch uh, um, or, uh, professional organization uh, Tong. Um, you've been in Rotenburg as well uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and um, I would like to ask you some questions. Um, for starter, um, what did we discuss today? What did you explain us? Well, the, today it was the topic was about brain diseases and how to treat degenerative brain diseases especially. And in the context of general acupuncture strategy, <coughs> which is very different to the TCM approach, and I call this the acupuncturist acupuncture. Because you were uh, just dis discussing that uh, the Sang Fu uh, method is more for herbalists. Right. Because we are treating meridians with acupuncture. Right. Yeah. So you have to reframe the whole um, medical or uh, even herbalist diagnosis into meridian terms, which gives you m an access which is more freely because you can access the whole system when you reframe it. But it's a very important word, reframing. We don't treat organs in an uh, organic way. We don't treat medical diagnosis. We treat the meridian system, but in its whole range. And the range is not usually told because we have five meridian systems and you have to know how to access all of them, not only one. And Ling Xiu chapter one says, uh, anybody who says, chronic diseases cannot be treated with needles has not mastered the technique of acupuncture and I think this is a very clear statement especially if it comes up in chapter one which deals with the most important things. Indeed yeah you, you were talking about five systems yeah can you elaborate uh, a little bit about that? Yeah it's about the five levels of energy it's a wage a wage this is the tendinal muscular meridians then is the main meridians this is in chi then you have the low vessels, it's a superficial blood structure. Then you have the extraordinary vessels, it's Yuan Qi. And finally you have the divergent meridians who lead in chronic diseases, Wei Qi, at the level of Yuan Qi, and you treat uh, some autoimmune disorders, for example, with the Jing Bie. But again, this diagnosis is not done according to Western diagnosis and to Zhang Fu diagnosis. It's a according to meridian diagnosis, which is very much by based on palpation, especially abdominal points. And you uh, discussed just uh, uh, just now four stages of treatment? Three main stages and then different tactics. The three stages are uh, removing blocks, which can range from demonic possession to electrosmog or tea fillings. Um, <coughs> the Biao approach, which is the symptom approach, and I use this uh, five element, uh, five meridian systems approach very much in the Biao approach. And then the Ben approach is to use only one or two meridians and to use points there on the spirit level. This means on the level of the point names. Okay. Um, now you were teaching at Rotenburg as well. Was it the same subject? Yes, for this year, because it was the same topic in Rottenburg okay. than here. Yeah, and it was yeah. longevity or uh, Yangsheng. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Um, what do you think is the importance of these kinds of uh, conferences that are internationally being held? <coughs> well, the, uh, first of all, I see uh, importance for change, because uh, in Rottenburg especially, there are too many politicians and not enough students around. And you see that because uh, the number of participants goes back. And if the uh, politicians uh, outnumber the number of students, then I think this is not really an event for uh, learning skills on the medical or um, the level of uh, Chinese medicine. It's more networking. Okay, now this is uh, the, the first uh, Congress in the Netherlands. Uh, I hope you have seen a lot of uh, students in the room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> More students than uh, politicians. Yes, yes yeah. definitely. Yeah, the, the politicians are outside. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they are, they are <laughs> networking, networking. And, and discussing. <laughs> yeah. And the students were inside here. You just did a demonstration uh, yes. and, and, and you were using uh, kinesiolo kinesiology. Yes, right. Hard words to pronounce. 
Um, and um, I, th I think you you used uh, different. I, I saw I saw on the screen like like four. Um, I don't know how how you call it. Um, four levels, four stages. So yeah, that, yeah. Is is that what you just uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, showed? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this uh, this was the five step approach. Oh, the five step approach. Yeah. Uh, treatment. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So and and can you tell the five steps? Yeah, the five steps are <coughs> opening divergent meridians and extraordinary vessels together in treating chronic problems. The second step is removing blood stagnation at the organ level very often. And then sometimes also using the low points to remove uh, emotional blockage. And the third step is to uh, treat the structure in order to uh, flow, the, the, the chi flows to the joints. And the fourth step, it is not done always, it is using microsystems, maps, like uh, hand acupuncture, ear acupuncture, uh, abdominal acupuncture, Yamamoto new scalp acupuncture, and so on. You have to gear that to the system that is uh, diseased. Uh, let's say for brain uh, diseases, uh, Yamamoto scalp acupuncture works very well. And the step five, the most important step in my eyes is uh, uh, designing homework for the patient and that is according to his needs. And there's a wealth of techniques which are the Yang Sheng techniques and the team of this congress that can be used. Okay. Do you have anything to say to the next generation of um, uh, practitioners? Yes. We have to go backwards now from medication to mediation to meditation and to prevent that the Chinese medicine is medicalized and taken over by Western doctors because the whole TCM system is, is, system is, is taught today. It's very much suited for Western doctors but not for real practitioners who want to access all levels, yeah? uh, body level, energetic level and especially the Shen level. Okay, how do you uh, how do you see the future for um, uh, TCM in it or Oriental medicine? Um, well, <coughs> I say my there is a uh, co my colleague Heiner Fruya of professor in the USA. He gave a good description, a warning also, and he said TCM seems to be very healthy today, but it's more when you look from the classical point of view it's more like a patient he is short before dying and when the last young flares up towards the head they look very healthy but inside the system is rotten and i think when you see the political approach and the um, whole political um, structure that develops around the TCM, then it's it's really going downward, and we become more and more restricted. And we, the, the doctor, starts to tell us what we can treat and what we can't treat with that. Because when the political institution, the state, is involved, then the doctors also come in. So I want to be very clear about it. I don't think very much about uh, working together with Western medical doctors because we should them lift up to our level. I don't mean to interfere with, uh, with surgery or uh, emergency medicine, but with chronic diseases, I work only on eye level with Western doctors, at least. Okay. So we need more uh, people who, um, who go their own way, search, right. the, exactly. read the classics. Read one and for themselves and then we meet up there. Ah, that's <laughs> very, very good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for these wise words You're and this, uh, this nice interview. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope to see you next year here. Yeah, oh, well, they have to invite me. So <laughs> Absolutely. <I can. laughs> okay. I'm sure they will. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.